Hey guys, AppleAir106 here with PhoneUplink.com and today Apple talked about its next installment of iOS. So let's get down into the new features and we'll talk about what's generally... So the first real thing that Apple changed was the iOS notification system. Notifications now show up on the lock screen uh, where you slide that applications icon to the right and then it brings up that corresponding application that is tied to that notification which is a really, really nice and cool way to look at your notifications. So another new thing with the notifications is the Notification Center, which is really nice. They have these nice, really cool interactive widgets, which I really like. It does, It is reminiscent of Android, but I really think that those widgets are really neat and cool. Um, so obviously it lists the application's notification, and again, if you click that notification, it takes you to the application. So also, Apple has made some changes with the camera. If you double tap the home button, it gives you quick access to the camera, which you can see from that little button, which is really nice. Um, also, it has an options for um, grid and HDR right through there, so you can turn those on and off. So if you want to align your shot well, using the grid system, it's really nice. Um, also, you can, again, take a picture with the regular touch button. Apple has now given you the ability to hit that plus volume up button to take the snapshot. Another neat thing that Apple's gonna let you do with your photos is they're gonna let you edit them right on the iPhone, which is really nice. So let's go to the picture that we just took of the Magic Mouse. And if you hit the button in the top right there, edit, and then it gives you four main options. Uh, the first one that we're gonna look at is cropping. So you can crop any part of the image, so if there's any part of the image that you don't want in there, you can easily crop it right off the iPhone, which is really convenient when you do use it. Um, there's another feature in here called Auto Enhance, which is the one right there. You Once you click that, it basically um, enhances the colors in that picture to make it look nicer and really does help. The other uh, feature is Red Eye Removal, and this these features are really nice. Another thing that Apple has improved greatly is Safari. Uh, basically, Apple has made a lot of put in a lot of useful tools for uh, written web content that is really nice. Um, one of the things that it has is a Safari Reader, which you can see is that little button there. Um, once you hit that, it basically takes all the distractions off the page, like the ads or anything else, and lets you get really focused on the content on the page, which is really really great keeps the content nice and organized. You can uh, make the text fonts bigger and smaller so that you don't strain your eyes while you're reading it. Um, another cool feature that they've added throughout iOS is that you can tweet almost anything in iOS because they've added Twitter integration throughout the main core of iOS. So this means that you can tweet almost anything. Um, let, it be, well, let it be a picture or a video or a link through Safari, which is really cool. Um, another cool feature is that Apple now put in this thing called the reading list, which is really cool. Basically, it lets you save any kind of web page to read later, which is really useful and is a definite welcome feature. Another neat feature that Apple has built into iOS is the Reminders app, which is basically just a task manager that, that is built into iOS, but has a lot of cool features such as that it syncs with Microsoft Microsoft Exchange or what is going to be iCloud or Mobile Me, which is really neat. Also, it has a geolocation alert reminder, which is really cool, which means that you assign a location to it and when it detects that you've left or arrived at that location, depending on how you set it, it will alert you, which is really, really neat. This last and final feature is a modification of how purchases other than the App Store are handled on, the I, on iTunes, which means that I can buy a piece of content on one device, then log into my iTunes account and download it free of charge on any of my other devices, which is a really neat feature and saves you from syncing a lot of stuff. Obviously, these aren't all the features in iOS 5. There are over 200 new features in iOS, so I couldn't possibly go over all of them. But these features I thought were the most interesting. iOS 5 will be coming out in the fall for customers, but developers, there is a beta for you right now so that you can test your apps for iOS 5 and make them even better. 
Visit the link in the description for more information and have a great day.